Hello everyone, and welcome to this tutorial video. Today, we will take a step-by-step -step look at how to use BACnet on Milesite Gateway. Let's take UC300 as a demo sensor and break the operation procedure into three sections as the follows. Add sensor to Milesite Gateway. Add BACnet object. Using Yabi to simulate platform integration. Let's start. Log in the Milesite Gateway and navigate to Network Server Module to add device. You need to fill in the required information and some of them will be filled in automatically based on the device you want to add. Then, navigate to the packet section and wait for the device's join request and uplink data packets to be reported. You can double check if the packets are from the added device by looking at the device EUI or the packet details. The packet details also give you some basic info about the sensor and the data it's collected. Since the device has successfully joined the network, we can now enable the BACnet server on the Milesite gateway. You can tick to enable the BACnet server, don't forget to save new settings and apply it. Move to BACnet object section and add BACnet object by simply ticking the added device and its related properties. For demonstration, we tick Modbus channel 1 first. Normally, at the time of the first reporting cycle, after completing the selection, you will see the reported value, indicating that the device is functioning properly and the data has been transmitted to the NS. To shorten the waiting time and ensure the devices work properly, we recommend using the Milesite toolbox for a quick test round. We have connected an Modbus device to UC300, and you can see the value we fetched is 1. Then we move to Network Server to check if UC300 report the data successfully. Check the packet details. We can see the Network Server has received the data successfully. Then back to BACnet Object section and refresh the website to display the present value. We can run a few more test rounds to ensure the devices operate and report properly. Let's change the Modbus Channel 1's value from 1 to 6 and fetch, let's use Toolbox to fetch new data. Repeat the same operations as before. This time, we will receive a new packet containing Modbus Channel 1's value of 6, which will then be synchronized as the present value at BACnet Objects section. If you want to enhance the reliability, you can tick other objects of the added device to test by repeating the above operations. These simple tests confirm the device is running, connecting, and reporting data successfully. Adjust the end device to change the GPIO input value to zero again. See, the present value has changed as well. Next, we can open Yabi to get the device's value and simulate how the data appears on the platform. If we change the VLAU on the end device, the present value on Yabi will be changed as well. Now, let's return to the Gateway web page to select another object for downlink testing. For the UC300, we can tick GPIO output as an example. Then, open the Milesite toolbox to check its current status. You will see that it is currently closed and the present value of this object in Yabi is zero. You can change the present value on Yabi directly. After that, the gateway network server will receive Yabi's message, encode a downlink command, and send it to the end node. Then we can fetch the present status via Milesite toolbox. The open status indicates successful downlink control. Thanks for watching.